Hello dear students, we will continue with the chapter 5, Water Resources and today we will be discussing about what is irrigation and what are the irrigation methods are implied and widely practiced in India. We know that man has become civilized when he learned to cultivate plants for food. Now these plants for food can be cultivated in agriculture and if you want to do agriculture we need a plenty of water. Basically from Indian point of view India is an agriculture country and we have the vast resources of water available in the form of rain, snow, rivers and underground water. But one problem that India is consistently facing that is increasing population. And that is very fastest growing at the same time the land for the cultivation is limited one so we need to focus on how to make our land more productive in agriculture production so for doing that lots of methods we are applying and few new techniques we can apply for that so we can provide the better seeds for agriculture we can have the better fertilizers, new techniques can be adopted and at the same time we need to provide the adequate amount of water and if the adequate amount of water is not provided all other techniques and the facility will fail in order to complete the food production of India. So the importance of water is inevitable and for this we can have irrigation as the source of special use and the special importance. So irrigation is what? Irrigation is the artificial application of water to the land as it is very much important for the civilized society for the food. Let's take a look at from the Indian point of view what are the methods of irrigations and why we need to have the irrigation. Though India has a vast resources of water, then why should we require the irrigation, that is the artificial water supply, because of some reasons. So from examination point of view, we can prepare why India needs irrigation. The first one, seasonal rainfall. And we know very well that in India, the monsoon season goes from June to September. And rest of the months, that is 8 months, there is no rainfall at all and it remains dry. Then remaining 8 months, if you want to have the water facilities, then what can be done? We need to have or shift to the artificial channel of water that is called as irrigation. We know that the rainfall is not same everywhere. It is uncertain in time and place. Means according to the time of June to September, it may come, it may not be. And from place to place also, it varies. Sometimes in India it comes very late. Sometimes due to uncertainty the crops fell and here we need to apply the irrigation for the agriculture. Next uneven distribution of rainfall. We know that the rainfall though it comes from June to September in India it doesn't give the even rainfall to all over the country. Because some areas receives 200 or more than that rainfall and some areas receives rainfall only 25 to 50 centimeter. So this demarcates the fluctuations in the rainfall. So somewhere we have the floods like Assam and somewhere we have the very scanty and very famines like a drought like situation just like in Rajasthan. So in order to cover up this one. We need to have the means of irrigation that is other irrigation facilities. Next one erratic rainfall. Erratic in the sense every year we know that we have the rainfall from June to September. But it is not sure that from the June to September definitely it will be there every year. One year it will be very extensive. One year it will be moderate. One year it may not be proper. In 2005, then 2019, we had very flood-like situations due to the rainfall. But some year, 
it may not be available also so this causes to have the floods also and the famines also and in order to solve these problems we can try to avoid mostly dependent on monsoon so we can use our artificial channels so even though the rainfall is fell we can use that the cultivation of certain crops in india this is the tendency that some of the people or some of the areas try to cultivate the specific type of crops every year every time just like rice or sugar cane but these type of crops requires plenty of amount of water and that should be regularly available and if you want to cultivate this type of crops definitely in off season we need a good amount of water and that can be done only because of irrigation facilities though india cultivates all types of crops but some crops requires huge amount of water next one we have hot climate the country india's climate is a tropical and temperate where the temperatures are little bit higher into the most of the part of country so here evaporation is rate is also very high and as the evaporation rate is very high we can see the artificial channel is required in that and next one green revolution program now many parts of the country we can see there are green revolution programs have been initiated so fertilizers are used now in order to use that fertilizers effectively into the land we need to give the water regularly to the to the field and if it is possible then only this program can be very successful so for that effectively we need to have the irrigation facility so these are the prominent features or the requirements are there because of this we need to have the irrigation in india and that is most important one so few points you can note it down in a very proper way now we decided to have the irrigation in india then do we have the really potential for that or not because we need like that potentials and then only we can try to do that let's take a look at in short do we have the potential for the irrigation in india or not perennial rivers in india especially in northern plains the rivers which flows these are snow fed rivers and these carry the water throughout the year because in summer season the snow from the himalayas melts and provide the water and in monsoon season plenty of rainfall increases the water volume and because of that there is a good amount of water available in some part of india and this excess water can be transferred through the canals and sent to the water dry areas so there is a potential for irrigation next low level land especially northern plains are low level lands and these are made up of soft alluvium because of the alluvium brought by the perennial rivers there and it is very soft it is gentle slope making the construction of canal very easier here so easily we can make the canals and from that river directly through the canal the water can be provided to the lower areas where there is a less amount of water and the dry areas next reservoir of ground water in india we have the heavy rainfall and wherever there is a heavy rainfall there is a possibility to have the lots of water seepage underground and here the reservoir of underground becomes a very large and huge one and because of that somewhere we can build the wells tube wells and that too at a small depth so water can easily be available through the wells and that water we can used as a irrigation during the dry period and fourth important point that is a site for constructing dams here we can check india's land is uneven terrain where we have the mountains where we have the plains where we have the plateaus so because of this undulating terrain and the northern rivers of india here is good enough for the building the dams so everywhere we can have the good and large dams for storing the water and tank irrigation also possible in somewhere in peninsular indias where the natural hollows are available and where we have the very hard rocks and these impervious impervious rocks 
try to store the water for a longer period of time so because of the availability of having the hollows and the unevenly terrain we can have the dams and tanks so in that we can try to store the water for irrigation so we have the good potentials for the irrigation facilities also and now let's study about what type of irrigation we follow in india why there are differences why we are having different types of irrigation methods from place to place and that we will discuss right now let's try to check it out here 